Hi, I'm Jo at ISL Collective and today we're going to look at how you can fill in worksheets online and how you can send them to your students and how they can send them back to you. So let's see what you need to do. First, you go to islcollective.com and then you select a worksheet. Once you're there, you're going to have to click on the new fill and send icon and you'll see that this page where you land is actually directed at students. So the, even the instructions are written for them. So just to clarify one more time, this is what the student will see and you as the teacher will have to copy the link in your address box and that link goes to your student and the student will arrive at this page. Now let's see what that student will have to do. So we're gonna click on a page. The editor function came up. You can zoom in with the up arrow and you can zoom out with the down arrow. So we're gonna zoom in and we'll try to fill in the gaps. Click on the text box down here and start typing. If I'm happy with my answer, I'm gonna click on save. If for some reason I'm not happy with my answer, I can click on the eraser and erase my answer. Or you can click on undo and you can undo your previous action. You might notice that there is no save button down here. So what can I do? It's automatically saved. So don't worry. But once you click on the close button here, you will see that all your answers are actually saved. Now, what if the worksheet you selected for your student has an answer key as well. The teacher and only a logged in teacher can edit the document and can remove pages from this worksheet. So if this second page is the answer key, we're just going to remove this page. Don't you worry, you're not doing anything with the original document. You didn't delete the answer key from the original. Even if you erase something on the worksheet, you are not destroying the original copy. So now we removed the answer key and we get a link automatically for this edited version. Now, what to do next? You're going to have to give your real name. So my name is Joe, and you're going to have to click on generate link for filled document. You're going to see that your solution is saved and you get a link. This link is to the filled in document. So your student will have to send this link to the teacher. If you click on the link your student sent you, you're going to be taken to the correct the worksheet page. You will see your student's name, the worksheet's title and the worksheet itself. Now, what are we going to do? Well, click on the worksheet again and start correcting. If I'm done with everything, I'll just tell you again, it's automatically saved. I'll click on close. I will generate a link for the corrected version. As you can see, the correction is saved and I have the link, which I then can send in an email or I can upload it onto Google Classroom, Edmodo, or any other online place where you communicate with your student. So we hope you like this video and you will start using the fill and send feature today. Bye.